haven't played. Well, I'm, I'm really glad we had it. Uh, as we talked about earlier, you know, we didn't have anything this fall as far as competition goes. So I thought it was a great day for us. Vermont really made us work hard. I thought they played good defense in the first half. We had to work hard offensively. And it was a battle on the face-off, too. So it was great to have this kind of competition this time of year. And uh, obviously, without, without Mariano, Salcido, and Evans as the offense, how did you kind of see uh, of, of this offense in the new one? I year? thought we started slow. Uh, I, I, I got to give some credit to their defense and their goaltender. When we did get some shots off, he made some good saves. I didn't think we shot particularly well, especially in the first half. Uh, and it, things started to loosen up in the, in the second half. We kind of adjusted with their defense, and we had better possessions in, this, in the third quarter than we did in the, in the first half. We didn't have a lot of great possessions. And I think both teams, there were a number of penalties. Both teams were man up a number of times. You mentioned starting slow. Do you think some of that's just the first you know, chance at a real competition? Oh, yeah. Know? Yeah, you know, I talked to the guys earlier, and, uh, you know, it's all about the mistakes that we make. And we're going to make some, especially in our first scrimmage with uh, so many freshmen and underclassmen playing that uh, we just want to eliminate those mistakes as, as the scrimmages go on. And uh, I think we did that. And guys are getting a lot of credit to, to the defense here today. So what do you see from the goalies, you know, Dom and, and the rest of the group? I, I thought they did good. You know, Dom, I thought he was terrific in the first half, and he was the reason that we were able to, uh, you know, tie it up at halftime and have a little bit of a uh, edge going into the second half. And, uh, and Drake did a very good job in the, in the third quarter. And I think we shot better uh, in the second half. Bogo's been in a position you really haven't had to worry about the last few years with Ben. Is Danny stepping in now as the primary guy this year? What do you see from him? Yeah, Danny's uh, he's been very quick, uh, you know, from fall till till this spring, uh, and I think that he uh, he had some great competition. You know, their guy I think is a, you know last year was about 52, 53 percent. Uh, so it was good that he had some good competition today, and, and they both had a, a battle. And, our wings, uh, you know, I think our wings did a good job getting after the loose balls, as theirs did. Uh, so it was great to have that kind of competition, uh, especially so early in the spring here. Just in watching him, how do you think he's, he's different than Ben was? Um, I think he is. Uh, yeah, I think he's pretty quick. Uh, he even may be a hair quicker than Ben. Uh, ben did a better job off the ball and picking the ball up than uh, than Danny has so far, but he's really worked on that this summer, and he's gotten a lot better at it than he was a year ago. Notice Brendan limping off there. Is that anything to be worried about going forward or any word of his status? There? I, you know, it's so early in the spring here. He just twisted. Uh, he just twisted his ankle. And, um, I, yeah, I think he's going to be fine. Yeah. And then last year, obviously, you guys moved him back and forth. You kind of attacked the midi. Uh, where do you expect him to be playing this year? Uh, probably mostly on attack. But uh, we, we have four attackmen back there. Right. And, uh, you know, Voight had, had a great spring, you know, along with Brendan. And, uh, obviously, Ravis did great. And, uh, Solomon are, you know, the primary Dodgers. So um, if we have to, you may see uh, Boyd or Bonberry in the midfield a little bit, but, you know, we'll see. You could even see Solomon up there and, and have the two of Boyd and uh, Bonberry in. So we'll figure it out. It's too early to tell. And uh, um, you mentioned with, with Rafis as one of the primary Dodgers. You know, he came on strong at the end of last year. He scored a couple goals today. Yeah. What have you kind of seen from him recently? Uh, he's, you know, he's uh, very comfortable in the starting position, and uh, he's playing – uh, with a lot of confidence right now, and he's he's been doing great in practice, and uh, he's really giving our defense a, a run and making them better. And I, and I noticed Matt Lane was kind of playing with uh, at the end of the game a lot more. Was that what is your plan with him as far as uh, midfield and all that? Well, we used him a little bit on attack today, and, and with uh, Bombberry, uh, you know, getting hurt, we we're just bumping other players down into the attack position. So, uh, you know, Matt, we just need Matt to dodge, and he's a very good shooter, and uh, you know, Phil. Uh, if he'll create some offense by beating his guy. A lot of teams haven't slid to him uh, because of that. So I think if he starts dodging his guy, he'll, you know, he's going to play more and more. And, and obviously Jamie was the only returning midfielder uh, from last year. Uh, what are your plans as far as you know, alongside him? Do you have anything right now? Or? Uh, I think we went with uh, Dordovic and Dirth today, and then uh, uh, we've got you know the whole second midfield returns to us, and Dirth was on second last year. Uh, with Lane and Simmons and Carlin and McKinney got some pretty good time today too. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's truly to tell and uh, that's why we did this, to see who's going to step up in a game situation. And fortunately, we've got two more scrimmages to go. Three if you want to count uh, Hofstra and Lemoyne on the same day. A couple more for Coach. What are uh, some of those things that stick out to you from today that you know you want to improve for the next uh, few Oh, everything. Um, yeah, everything. Uh, you know, we, uh, uh, again, some younger players, we need to get them experience. I thought defense played pretty well. They communicated pretty well. Uh, we gave some, we gave 
the ball up a couple times and turnovers, clearing the ball, and uh, a couple times on faceoffs we got possessions and, and uh, we threw it away. Uh, so we lost a couple of possessions there, especially in the first half when we didn't have the ball a lot. So the first half was, uh, you know, I think they had the ball a lot, and then either team had both, you know, or man up or man down a, a number of times. So there wasn't a lot of flow in that first half uh, that we had, you know, in, in the third quarter. Coach, uh, you talked about the goalie play and how you were pleased with it today. Does it look like Dom will definitely be the starter against Binghamton? You know, we've got two, uh, two or three scrimmages left. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would say today he's going to be the starter. You know, he's he's got a lot of experience. Uh, he's a fifth-year guy, mm -hmm. and uh, you know how he played in the scrimmage today is how he's played in, in our practices this spring and this fall. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm, I don't want to say that someone can't beat him out. Mm -hmm. uh, I want that competition there, but he's played uh, he's played very consistently so far this spring. Looking at Drake, he made a couple of big saves as well, um, really inside the crease too. Uh, what did you see from him as your first impression in the scrimmage? Uh, he's another one. I thought he was pretty comfortable out there in a, mm -hmm. in a game situation. Uh, we redshirted Don Madonna last year, so Drake got some time while the other guys were, you know, mm -hmm. were redshirting. So he got some time out there uh, and was pretty comfortable when he got in the games a year ago. And uh, it's, it's a lot of competition going on mm -hmm. you know, uh, with Strang and, and Willie Klan. And, and right now, Nate McPeak is uh, probably redshirting, which is why we didn't use him in the scrimmages. Today. Anything else? Um, Nick Mellon, he played really his first competitive game in a well, not necessarily scrimmage, but like first competitive game in a long time. What did you see out of him after not playing at all last year in this game? Well, I, I think he's, you know, he's got to step up and be the guy, which I think he, he wants to be and, and has. Uh, he's made, a, you know, a couple of mistakes in, in clearing situations today. But he's been a, you know, he was pretty much our top cover guy when, you know, he was a freshman right up there, depending on uh, certain characteristics of attacking on the other team. And, uh, you know, he's, he stepped up where he left off. He's a little better. I think he's playing a little better team defense. And uh, we just need to get rid of our mistakes this time.